There are mountains, and then there are the Dolomites. Ci sono le montagne, e poi ci sono le Dolomiti. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Rain or Shine. In the next travel videos, we are going to show you some of the most amazing places to visit in the Dolomites, the amazing Italian Alps. After spending a day at the unique Santuario Madonna della Corona in the province of Verona, we headed north to the town of Castelrotto in the province of Bolzano. First stop in our Dolomites adventure, one of the most memorable travel experiences in our life. Look at the color. Oh my god! Look at that, man. As soon as we arrived in Castel Rotto, we checked in at our accommodation for the next three days. We were lucky to stay in the apartment of a very nice local friend of Chano. Ever since my husband told me about these extraordinary mountains, it has been one of my dreams to see the Dolomites in person. Finally, the day arrived and visiting one of the most charming towns in Italy was the best way to start it. Castel Rotto in Italian or Castel Ruth in German is an excellent base to explore some of the most famous destinations in South Tyrol, such as the Alpe di Siusi and Sacheda Mountain. During high season, this fairy tale medieval town is full of tourists that come here to hike in summer or ski in winter. But during our visit in autumn, there were almost no tourists in the town. This gave us a more local vibe, especially that we were joined by our Italian friends from Parma. One of them, Massimo, has been traveling around the Dolomiti since he was 15, and he shared with us a lot of information about this part of Italy. The mountain called Dolomiti Sesto, and the drama start beginning here, the ends. First espresso in Italy. See? Let's go. Sugar? First. You are not taking the cappuccino anymore? No. Ho imparato le lezioni. Oh. <laughs> Perfecto. Massimo, why are there three words on the wall? Palazzo del Municipio, abbiamo tre scritte. Rathaus in German, Municipio in Italiano, Chemun in Ladino. Ladino è una delle lingue ufficiali parlate qui in Valle. This town is one of the most charming towns I've ever seen. It's incredible. At sunset, we headed to Trotsberg Castle, from where we watch how the last sun rays hit the town church and the unparalleled Alps in the background.
We are going to watch the sunrise in the Alpe di Stiusi. <laughs> we just parked our car, so now we are going to start our trekking. It's 6 o'clock in the morning. Let's go! The closest parking to the Alpe di Stiusi is called Compacho. You can only park your car here from 6 a.m. until 11 p.m. But the road from Castel Rotto is closed every day from 9 a.m. until 5 p.m. unless you work, live, or stay on the top. If you don't want to watch the sunrise, you can use the cable car or the public bus to reach the Alpe di Siusi. Breakfast. The view. We woke up at 5 o'clock in the morning, so we didn't have the time to prepare our breakfast, but we brought with us some foods, nuts, bananas, and desserts. So we're just gonna eat our breakfast here, overlooking this million dollar view. My first visit to the Alpe di Siusi was in 2016. And I was here alone, I had a horrible sunrise, I couldn't see the mountains, it was very cloudy. I remember I had just started talking to Ren, and I was describing all the meadows to her, all the landscape, the animals. Then I promised I will bring her here one day. And now... <laughs> and now she's here with me. We had the most amazing sunrise we have ever seen. And we are husband and wife. I know one thing for sure. The Alpe di Siusi is the highest meadow in Europe and it is undoubtedly one of the most picturesque places on earth. Before it became famous internationally, it was and is still home to many farmers that in this land graze their animals. During our visit to the Alpe di Siusi, there were very few tourists around which again gave us a more authentic experience. It was a lovely day and we passed hours just walking around and staring at the vast pasture surrounded by the majestic Dolomites while listening to cowbells and chirping of birds. There are few mountain refuges where visitors can rest try local cuisines and drink a glass of cold beer to regain energy. They also offer beds if you plan on staying overnight. She sees a swing, she cannot avoid it. Let's go! Come on! I'm leaving, bye! Bye! In all 
of our trips, we are always being followed by dogs. But in this trip, it's a cat. During summer and winter, there are many cable cars that you can use if you don't want to walk. But now they're closed, so we are just walking around. While I was taking a nap, my husband left me all alone on the bench and he took several videos around. It was a very quiet nap and I regained my energy. This was my view when I woke up. Just like Castel Rotto, the Alpi di Siusi is located in the Italian region of Trentino Alto Adige, also known as South Tyrol or Sud Tyrol in German, which was part of the Austro-Hungarian Empire until World War I. Historically, Many areas of the Dolomites were more Germanic than Italian, which explains the fact that German is still the first language for many people in this region, so you can find signs in German everywhere. At dawn, the most iconic view of the Alpe di Siusi is the one over the Sasso Lungo and Sasso Piatto. But at dusk, we chose to admire how the sun set behind the also impressive Chiliar Mountain. Again, the sky turned into fire to end a perfect day in the Dolomites. Do you like it? Bellissimo. Buongiorno! We are on our third day in the Dolomites and we have already eaten our breakfast in the apartment. And now we are on our way to Seceda. On our way to Sacheda, we were distracted by the views and we kept stopping on the road. We just parked our car and we're about to begin our trek to Sacheda Mountain. This is a free parking space, it's very convenient. However, you have to pay during these months. So now, let's go! The Dolomites have an infinity of incredible mountains, and Sacheda is one of those that cannot be missed on a trip to South Tyrol. This area is a mountain paradise for hiking and skiing. If you choose to hike, it will take you at least 2 hours to reach the top at 2,500 meters, depending on your level of fitness and the route you choose. But in high season, if you don't want to get exhausted from trekking, you can take the cable car from Ortise and enjoy the breathtaking view over Val Gardena and the Odle group. Climbing Sacheda Mountain was probably one of the most challenging adventures we ever had, and we were about to find out in the later part of our journey. First, we enjoyed walking quietly and totally immersed into the serenity of the forest, surrounded by the majestic Alps. There were almost no other people because autumn is considered a slow season in the Dolomites. It 
It was almost lunchtime when we arrived to the first mountain refuge, but to our disappointment, it was closed. We kept our hopes high and were expecting that the subsequent refuges will still be open. To my horror, all of the refuges were already closed for the season. Hiking was not a problem for Chano and I because we have good endurance, but not being able to fuel our bodies with food properly made the climb much harder. You wanna come with us? You wanna come with us? You wanna starve with us? Huh? You want to come and starve with us? <laughs> <laughs> hey there, brothers. You're so funny. <laughs> Tired and hungry, we tried to be optimistic since we were in one of the most beautiful mountains in the world. We stopped in one of the refuges to eat whatever snack we brought with us, a few grams of almonds and granola bars. We only brought 2 liters of water with us, which we drank carefully because there were nowhere to buy a bottle of water. The trekking trails were constantly inclined and very steep. Someone is struggling. It's been really hard, really steep. We are now above 2,400 meters. And we are not yet on the top. Almost there. Where is your backpack? I've lost it. Yeah, you lost it. Yeah. Our backpack. Yeah. <laughs> but you cannot carry your bag, but you can play with huh? Why is it so slow? It's more tiring for my upper arm. How's my ass? Dirty. <coughs> Someone wanted to give up. Yeah, yeah, you, Frodo. If it's not for Sam. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the panoramic views on top healed our exhaustion and we totally forgot our worries. Is it worth it? Yes. Yeah. Are you happy?
were supposed to go down already, but the color just changed into this purple, blue, and pink. So my husband is taking more photos. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at that side. It's turning very pink. Amazing. How was the experience? Look at my cooking pot. <laughs> it's amazing, but it could have been more amazing if the refuge were open and I can eat and have a good beer or espresso. We will have an amazing dinner. But with this view, I can't complain. We are ready to go down on the deck. <laughs> Get up. Who said that you cannot ski without the snow? I had the crazy idea of not walking through the designated path to cut our trip shorter. So we ran down the ski slopes. But it was a huge mistake because as soon as we stopped running, I felt how weak my legs had become. And we already ran out of water. We arrived safely to the car park and immediately looked for the nearest restaurant. We fed ourselves with warm pizza and mouth-watering dessert. Before departing towards our next destination, Chano returned to Val Gardena at sunrise to film the church of San Giacomo, one of the oldest and most beautiful temples in the Dolomites. Don't miss our next travel video where we continue our Dolomites trip by visiting other famous locations including the magical Val di Funes. Please like and subscribe in order to support our channel so we can share with you more incredible places around the world. Thanks for watching. Until next time, keep exploring, rain or shine.